you're gonna sit here. You're gonna be quiet. Hey guys, Oop, this is a little awkward. Hello. So today is going to be kind of a follow-up video to the video that I made Sunday before last about becoming a witch. I don't want to discourage anyone. I want people to learn and study and grow and practice and have a beautiful time with magic. However, I do believe that you should study for quite a while and practice for quite a while as well before you start charging people for your services. I have had friends and acquaintances in the past that have maybe taken one or two classes and maybe read half of a book and then they started charging people for spells. And honestly, I can't tell you what to do. Everybody looks at me like, who is this girl telling me what to do? She's like 12 years old. I'm not 12 years old. I'm 36 years old. I've been practicing magic for 20 years and I still don't charge people for magic. <laughs> I just think that if you've only been practicing for a week or two and you only, you know, studied a little bit, you don't have enough knowledge to ask people for money for something that you're still trying to learn to do. I think that if you want to perform magic for your friends uh, as a practice, if you're performing it for yourself or for family, you know, just to get used to it, to see how it feels, to work things out, absolutely, by all means, practice all day, but realize that you are practicing. And then if you try to charge somebody for a spell or for a working or for a tarot card reading, and you have not been studying very long, it's just, it's unethical. Because these people are wanting results. They're wanting to know about things that they have questions about. They want to talk to loved ones. If you're working as like a medium, uh, that's also a tarot card reader. They're trying to receive something that they believe is real, that they believe that you are doing for them because you've studied for a long time and you have this knowledge when you don't. And it's really unfair. Just like if you're studying to become a doctor, after two weeks of being in school, you're not going to go try to treat patients. You're not going to try to help people with their actual wounds or diseases because you don't know enough yet and you want people to be able to trust you and to trust what you can do so oh my gosh that you do <laughs> so annoying so if you are someone who wants to do magic for a living and something that you can earn money from you want to start out being trustworthy you want to be able to tell people what you're doing how you're doing it and how they're going to get the results i feel like it's extremely important to study from different avenues of magic, study different types of herbal magic, herbalism as well as herbal magic, aromatherapy as well as aromatherapy in magic. So many different avenues. It's super duper ridiculously important to study the cultures that you're drawing from. Knowing the cultures that you're drawing from and having respect for them is so, so important because you're not gonna start spouting wisdom about a culture and a people that you have no idea about. That's just, just don't, just don't do it. Just don't do it. Just know what you're doing, know where everything is coming from, learn what those practices are coming from, and then once you have a really good, strong, confident understanding, then you can go ahead and start talking to people about it and charging people for your services. I'm just looking out for you. Just be careful. Something that's really common in the pagan community and like outside of the pagan community, people who claim to be witches or who claim to be able to purge someone's family line of a curse that has been put on them since the year 1492. <laughs> and they're going to give you something that will lift this curse on your family. It takes three sessions and it costs $400 a session. No. Please, oh my gosh, I have seen this happen to people so many times. That's, it's not, it's, I, I don't wanna say that someone else's magic isn't real because that's so rude and disgusting, it's so, it's just, but I've seen people who have been in this situation before and I have just felt so awful for them. I had a client that came in to see me, she wanted some magic done, no big deal, we were working together with it. I think I was out of work for a week or something like that, so I wasn't there. When I came back, she told me she had gone to someone else and they gave her a giant quartz geode and she showed it to me, she had it, and it was like this dyed, it was a dyed green quartz, it was like, obviously died like it looked like they just dipped it in some paint it was horrible they told her to take this quartz 
and to bathe with it for three days. On the last day, it should change to a different color. And on that day, the curse will be lifted from her family line. This was like a curse that had been on her family for hundreds of years. It kept them from being able to make a certain amount of money or to keep money or to save money or whatever. And this was gonna lift the curse and she'd be the first one to be able to save money in her family. Oh, guess how much money she paid for that? $1,000. This girl who worked as a waitress saved up her money and spent $1,000 on a dyed crystal from someone who told her to bathe with it for three days. No change. Of course it's going to change color, honey. It's dyed. When you put it in water, it's going to it's gonna release some of the dye that's on the crystal. Like, I was so upset for her. And when she told me this, she was crying because she didn't have $1,000 anymore. Nope. <laughs> you know what will help your family start saving money? Probably money management outside help, probably some therapy, and some self-control. And those are things that are built up over time and they have to be taught to some people, yes. And you have to practice that every day, yes. But that's what's gonna lift this curse off of your family right now. It is so incredibly rare that you are cursed or that you are hexed or your family has been cursed or hexed. Never, ever, this isn't the year 305, like it just doesn't happen. People aren't running around like a curse on all your houses, that doesn't really happen. People don't have time for that anymore. People who are performing magic are doing it for themselves, to raise themselves up, or they're doing it to break people up. That's what like, people always want to do, they want to break up couples, if they're jealous or whatever, you know, it's really stupid. So you probably don't have a curse on your entire family line, I, I just don't think so. These people are are con artists and they are really really good at it sometimes seem really knowledgeable and they all know what they're talking about because they've got that information from someone else they haven't even studied it themselves what their their personal skill is is tricking you so be careful you don't want to be seen as that kind of a person so make sure that you are studying and that you know what you're talking about so that you can separate yourself completely from that kind of atmosphere because it's horrible oh my gosh i can't even tell you how many people that i know that have been victimized by this kind of practice it's just it's yucky isn't there a show i'm pretty sure it's a show about it i, I remember watching it i love you I want everyone to learn. I want everyone to be a beautiful, blossoming, gorgeous creature of nature that is just drawing from all of these resources and just becoming this wonderful, beautiful globe of knowledge and power. Who wants to share that with everyone and share their love and spread their love and show that magic can be beautiful and powerful and exciting and real. I just want everyone to be so careful. I know studying is hard, it takes a long time. Believe me, I know. But it can be fun, especially when it's something that you care about and something that you love. I love studying magic. There are so many fun things and beautiful ways to learn about magic. So I just encourage everyone to take that time, learn about what you're doing, learn about the cultures that you're drawing from, learn about the plants that you're using and what kind of candles you're using and where they come from. Because you want people to see you as someone who is knowledgeable and trustworthy and loving and not someone who's just trying to trick them out of their money. Okay guys, I'm done talking about this subject. It actually gets me a little like, a lot of people make some pretty weird decisions. The Finger family has arrived, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> If you have any comments or stories to share about your experience with someone else with magic, leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear about it. Otherwise, have a beautiful day. I love you. Goodbye.